Hi, this is uh, Captain Rajay uh, for Gandhi Pondicherry Maritime Academy. In this uh, video, we are going to see about the different classifications of oil, types of portable extinguishers, and their operations. Now, let's get into the video. Hello, welcome to this Pondicherry Maritime Academy video on classification of fires and the different types of fire extinguishers and the ways for, to, for operating the different types of fire extinguishers. Now, let's start with what is fire? Uh, what is the first indication of a fire? Many people go ahead with the answers like smoke, flame, etc. But raise in temperature or increase in heat is the first indication of a fire. We all know that we need three sides for a fire triangle to happen. That is fuel, oxygen and an ignition source. So now, by cutting across one of these sides of the fire triangle, we are going to extinguish a fire. Now, what do we have on board? We have portable extinguishers, we have semi-portable extinguishers and we have fixed firefighting systems on board to fight different types of fires. Now, when I talk about portable extinguishers, we are talking here about a marine portable extinguishers and all the standards that we talk about are related to marine safety. Now, in this video, we are also we are going to see about the classification of different types of fire extinguishers. Now, what is a fire extinguisher? A fire extinguisher is a portable device which is either stored pressurized or pressurized by another means like use of a cartridge inside which delivers a medium outside to extinguish the fire. The application of the fire extinguisher differs with the different types of fires. So, what are the classifications of fire? As per the Solar Circular 1328, IMO Circular 1328, fire is classified as class A, class B, class C, class D and class F or K. Now, class A fire, what is class A fire? Fires which occur due to burning of combustible materials like paper, wood, textiles. These sorts of fires are called as class A fires. Class B fires are those which happen due to the burning of flammable liquids like an oil tanker, the cargo or the bunker, whatever, flammable liquids. C is for electrical fires. D is for metallic fires. And class F or K is related to galley fires because of grease or cooking oils, etc. So these types of fires come under the last category. The pass stands for pull, aim, squeeze and sweep. Now I will show a small demo of how to do that. Now place the extinguisher on your side, pull the safety pin, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the handle and sweep over the fire. This is the demonstration for a pass technique. Now, on board the vessel, we have different types of extinguishers that are placed on different locations based on the nature of hazards that are expected in that particular area. The distribution of the, uh, the fire extinguishers can be found in the fire control plants that are placed on various locations on board the vessel. Now, we will start with a water type of extinguisher. Now, first, in an extinguisher, what all informations are there? The name of the manufacturer, the year at which it was manufactured, operating procedure of the extinguisher, safety precautions to be followed for during the use of the extinguisher, operating temperature ranges, pressure tested ranges, like this, all these informations are presented to you on a fire extinguisher. Now let's see about the operation of a water type of extinguisher. Now this type of extinguisher is a water type of extinguisher and this is to be used on class A fires that is to be used on fires caused by flammable solids, wood, paper, textiles, comma, etc. Now how do we use them? What is the content inside? Inside there is water. There is nothing but water with some mixed salts. The fire extinguisher may be pressurized or may be fitted with a small cylinder which upon activation will create a pressure inside to push the contents outside. Now this fire extinguisher is a pressurized, con pressurized container which you can verify by the needle position outside 
Now this will give an indication whether the pressure is in the correct zone or not. You can see that the pressure zone is in the green zone. The water type of extinguisher extinguishes the fire using the property of cooling. It cools the fire and thereby stops the fire from continuing. It basically cuts down the chemical process by the, act, by the effect of cooling. Also, the water vapor and the steam that is produced provide a sort of a blanket and try to suppress the fire. So this is how a fire, a water type of extinguisher suppresses or tries to stop a fire. As I told you earlier, the, op the delivery time of the contents inside the fire extinguisher will normally be less than a minute. Now, this type of fire extinguisher, what are the advantages? The advantages is that this type of fire extinguisher can be, does not cause any, does not release any toxic gases, thereby the operator is safe and it can be used in closed atmospheres as well as open atmospheres. Now, the disadvantage of this type of extinguisher is its operational temperature range. In cold climates, this may not be used may not be useful as the contents inside the fire extinguisher might freeze. Now this type of fire extinguisher when used should be put at the base of the fire. You have to discharge the contents using the hose at the base of the fire to cut out the fire. Now a demonstration video will follow which is being demonstrated by an instructor from Pondicherry Maritime Academy. Portable cylinders are provided in our vessel as for the fire plan and fire hazard. In case of carbonizing fire, pick up the water type extinguisher from its location. Keep away from your body. Release the safety pin. Lift the cylinder. Hold the discharge hose, advance to the fire. Cue the handle, sweep the fire at the base of the flame. After extinguishing the fire, the empty cylinder to be labeled as a empty and lay down. Now we will see the second type of extinguisher that is a foam type of extinguisher. Now this type of extinguisher is to be used on fires caused by flammable liquids. What is the process by which, what, is the, what are the contents of this type of extinguisher? This contains water and foam generating substances that are inside the extinguisher. Now this type of fire extinguisher cuts down the fire by the effect of smothering. Now this fire extinguisher is also advised to be put on the base of the fire. It can also be used to slide across a bulkhead. That is if a fire is near a bulkhead, you can put it on the bulkhead so that the foam liquid slowly comes down and covers the fire. So by covering the surface of the fire, it is trapping the oxygen from not going inside, thereby cutting one side of the fire triangle and stopping the fire. Now the advantage is that this also can be used in closed atmosphere, also in open atmospheres. The disadvantage is you are not supposed to use this on any electrical fires, same with a water type of extinguisher. So remember water type of extinguisher and foam type of extinguisher are not to be used for electrical fires. They can be used for fires caused by class P that is flammable liquids and the principle used to cut down the fire is smothering or covering the oxygen from not entering inside thereby like forming a blanket and stopping the fire. Now we will see a demonstration that will follow regarding the use of a foam type of extinguisher. In case of oil fire, pick up the foam extinguisher from its location. Keep away from your body. Remove the safety pin. Release the discharge or take a position. Approach it to the fire. Cue the handle. Strike the nozzle at the nearby vertical bulkhead.
After empty, label empty and lay down. Now, the next type of extinguisher that we are going to see is a carbon dioxide, CO2 type of extinguisher. What is the principle behind this? Now, this is a pressurized container, pressurized fire extinguisher. That is, the gas is inside with pressure. What is the property that it uses to extinguish a fire? The property that is used is smothering and cooling because CO2 gas naturally has the property of smothering, meaning creating an inert atmosphere that is an oxygenless atmosphere and also has a cooling effect thereby extinguishing the fire. Now, care should be taken on the use of fire of CO2 type of extinguisher. Now, which type of fires can be used of CO2 type of extinguisher? It can be used on class B as well as class C that is fires caused by flammable liquids as well as electrical fires because CO2 gas is non-conductive that is it cannot conduct electricity hence it is very very minute hence a CO2 gas can be used on both the types of fires now the application of CO2 type of fire extinguisher needs a small bit of carefulness as well we cannot use this in closed atmospheres as it can result in an oxygen depleted atmosphere thereby causing asphyxia therefore it should not be used in closed atmospheres as the operator might be affected by it now care should also be taken when handling the co2 type of extinguisher when handling the horn should be handled only at the handle we should not keep our hand on the horn itself as this might cause a frostbite when the CO2 gas is being released the CO2 gas is supposed to be shown on top of the fire according to the windage as when in an open atmosphere when you are using this wind can affect the flow of the gas hence this should be directed over the fire according to windage now you will see a demonstration of a CO2 type of extinguisher. In case of oil and gas fire, available sources is only CO2 cylinder. Pick up the cylinder from its location. Keep away from your body. Remove the safety pin. Release the discharge horn hold in grip handle take a position approach to the fire keep your face away open the valve in anti clock voice apply properly Now, the next type of extinguisher that we are going to see is a dry powder type of extinguisher, DCP type of extinguisher. Now, this type of extinguisher can be used to extinguish types A, B and C. There are also some dry powder extinguishers which can be used only on types B and C. So, the manufacturer's instructions on top of the extinguisher has to be looked upon as to see what type of fires can be dealt with that particular type of fire extinguisher. Now, DCP type of fire extinguishers, as I told you earlier, although can be used on A, B and C types of fires, it is better to avoid the use of this on a C type of fire provided a CO2 extinguisher is present because this dry powder extinguisher may cause some damage to electrical equipments. Hence, a carbon dioxide CO2 type of fire extinguisher is best suitable for a C type or electrical type of fire. Hence, all this can be used, but it's better to avoid using this type of a fire extinguisher. Now, this type of fire extinguisher extinguishes the fire by cutting out the chemical reaction. It cuts out the chemical reaction by the chemical process, by the chemical that is inside this fire extinguisher, which when, when discharged, cuts down this chemical reaction and extinguishes the fire. Now, care should be taken when holding the discharge pipe. The discharge pipe should always be 
held at the end while operating a DCP type of extinguisher. This type of extinguisher also has temperature ranges and all those things and the discharging time as I have mentioned earlier will be less than a minute and those information can be found on the instruction manuals or the poster on the top of a fire extinguisher. Care should also be taken when using this extinguisher inside closed spaces. It is advised not to use in closed spaces as it can cause asphyxia because of the smoke that will be generated upon releasing of the fire extinguisher as well as causing your vision to be blocked. Hence, this type of extinguisher is best used in open spaces subject to windage similar to a CO2 type of extinguisher as wind may take away the powder that is being discharged outside. Now, a demonstration of the DCP type of extinguisher will follow. In case of fire at the vessel, available sources is only DCP. Remove the cylinder from its location. Keep away from its body. Release the safety pin. And take a position, hold the discharge hose, approach it to the fire and sweep the fire left and right. Now, the actions in case of a fire caused by galifides, that is K type of fire, K or F, the fires which are caused by cooking oil or greases that is present in the galley. Now, for this type of fires, we use a wet type of fire extinguisher if present or in most of the vessels, we have a fixed wet chemical system which is present directly over places where these types of fires are expected. The galleys are usually also fitted with a fixed CO2 system for, for use in case of a K type of fire. The CO2 system may be used in case of a fire because of a flammable liquid like an oil fire. The galley also has a fire blanket, which is the first source that we have to look for in case of a galley fire. So in case of a galley fire on a pan, and if we have a K type of fire, the nearby fire blanket can be taken upon, thrown and covered over the top of the fire and the fire can be extinguished. Now we will see a demonstration of the use of a fire blanket. In case of Fire at the galley in deep fryer. The ship has to remove the fire blanket from its location. Cover is naked portion top to bottom. Hold the blanket in the proper manner. Approach the fire. Cover the kadai. Don't use your hand. Stay away for a minute. Pull the blanket in downwards. <laughs> 